Hi, welcome to the short die designer video tutorial. Uh, we will be looking at the dowel pins. And if you go up to the pins and perf menu, scroll down dowel pins or DO from the command line, which brings up the dowel pin dialog box. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, various parameters, our different diameters, and then the catalog lengths based on that particular diameter. We have our units, uh, inch or millimeter, so various millimeter doll pins. <clears throat> our fit type, we have a press fit type or a slip fit. I'm going to go over our views of plan view. So our, our typical plan view press fit is a blue doll pin. If it were to be a slip fit doll pin, it would be magenta. Uh, the hidden option, if the doll was hidden behind something like a stripper, uh, the press fit would be green. The strip fit would be a powder blue. And we also have a profile option. I'll quickly uh, draw in the profile just so you can see that. Let me redo that. profile and we are going to go off point, point 0.5 direction and length of two inches. And you can move that down, extend the lines and there you have your profile view. But let's put some in in the plan view. Let me erase these existing. So, DO once again, press fit, plan view, the three quarter, two inch long, and we are going to put those in off point, 0.750, off point, 0.800, a uh, couple, of, let's put a few dolls into these rails. We'll go with the 3 16 by 3 quarter inch long. And we will go off point again. And this time it a half inch. Uh, the dull pin plan view, hidden plan view, also have the die designer touch ability. So I can just touch on the dull pin. And it prompts me uh, for where to put the next dowel. Um, and yeah, this just saves you from going, having to go up into the menu system or even the command line. So I'll touch it, off point, half inch, off point, and a half inch. So yeah, we have our dull pins in. Uh, now just, we can also do the uh, fastener list where it will count up all your socket head cap screws, low head cap screws, all types of fasteners, and the dowel pins. And uh, yeah, just FL from the command line. Let me zoom out first. Let me erase the existing fastener list. Design aids fastener list. And as you can see, those those dolls we put in, the 3 16 3 quarter long quantity 4, the doll 3 8 by 2 inches, and there were two of those, plus the low head cap screws and the socket head cap screws. So yeah, kind of cool there. Um, over here, I am going to show you a few more of the options. Let's go back to our 3 8 by 2, and let's make a few copies of this. We also have the ability, hold on, to transform these. So I can transform these press fit dolls to a slip fit. I can transform to a hidden doll, like if it was hidden behind a stripper. I can transform it... Um, Let's go hidden, but now let's transform it into a slip fit hidden.
So yeah, you got your various dolls. Also, they transform into uh, just your general object transform OT, and they will transform into a drilled hole one thirty second over the doll pin diameter. So I'll select these four dolls, and they're they transform into clearance drilled holes. I'm also going to run the whole table command or HD and I will select these holes and as you can see the A holes are uh, 30 second over drilled through. The, um, the uh, press fit dowels are uh, minus two tenths plus zero and the slip fit dowels are minus zero plus two tenths. So yeah, kind of cool. One more thing I wanted to show you. Uh, we do have good help files. So, um, you know, it explains the command line, the description, the menu location, the intelligence for the fastener list, the whole table, the dull transformation, slip fit, press fit, hidden, and plan. And then the object transform where it tr transforms into a drilled hole either a 30 second or one millimeter, depending on what units you're using. And then also um, that it's uh, touch command mouse activated. Also have a uh, button here uh, to see this video on YouTube. It'll take you through, to, through your current browser right to this same video so you can watch this. And, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, thank you for watching.